Hello, it's Mark here from Lightmap. Let's take a look at the new Lightlux panel in the new version of HDR Light Studio. So what are Lightlux? They're basically multiple lighting designs in a single HDR Light Studio project. Um, if we wanted, we could just close this panel now and then we could use HDR Light Studio like it's been used before and you wouldn't need to know about Lux at all. Um, but let's open up the panel, light looks. And it's very simple. It looks a little bit like the light list. And we've got four buttons. And there's a default look, which is called default. And we can add lights to our lighting design like normal. And we can see them in the light list. So the first button is to create a new light look. So if we press this, we can give it a name, which is new look. We'll leave it at that and then press OK. Now the new light look is selected and active because it's got the gray selection here. And we can see there's no lights in this look. So let's create a gradient background and drag a couple of lights onto this model. And then if we select the default, we load in the original lighting. So basically there is a light list per look. And when it's active, that lighting is selected. Lights can be area lights. So we can drag that light in, make this into an area light and use Smart Dolly to drag that light in as well. And when we flick between those looks, it includes the area lights. And you'll notice that um, the 3D software you're using HDR Light Studio with, in this case Blender, everything is kept in sync depending on which look you have active. Okay, so the next button uh, I'm going to show you is the duplicate button. This lets you take the design that is active and duplicate it and it creates a copy and then we can adjust the lighting to make it different and add more lights and carry on working on that lighting design and then we can compare it to the original so you can use this to create different versions of the same lighting design make some changes and then decide did I like it before that was it better before or do I prefer it after so that's a really good use for being able to copy and then we could do another copy and then we could add another light move a light and we can still compare it to the previous versions. So we need to rename some of these looks now because we're getting quite a few. So we can call this one, we'll double click on the name and then do look one, double click on the look, look two, double click, look three, Four. and then we can really quickly flick between them we've got a delete button so if there's a look that we decide we no longer want we just press the delete button and it's gone now whichever look is active is lighting the shot and if we were to render the production final HDRI map and area lights it would be the active look that is actually rendered. Okay, so we've covered creating looks, duplicating them, deleting them, and we have another button which is for creating a child look. Let's delete some of these looks and let's in this look one Let's delete those lights 
and let's put a HDRI map at the base. Do this one. Okay. So now let's create a child look. We'll give it a name. We'll call it option one. And what you'll see is a new look is created, uh, but it's inset in this tree structure. With it selected, you'll see its parent look one is highlighted uh, with uh, effectively white text, as is option one. So both of these are actually being used to light your shot. But we have option one selected. So we're looking at the lights and in the light list from option one. Now we haven't made any lights. We can see the HDRI map is being shown because this is coming from the parent, look one, which has got this HDRI map. So while I'm in the child, let's actually add some lights to this. Add a light there, and put a light there. So we've added these two lights. So in this light list, there's only these two lights, but then in the parent, there's the HDRI map. So what's happening is the lights are actually being added together from these two light lists, like one giant light list. Um, why is this useful? Well, what we could do is when we're uh, at this level, we could duplicate this and we could rename that to option two. And then we could make some changes to these lights. So let's make one of them a lot bigger and let's make this one a different color. So we have a different lighting option but it shares the same common base of this HDRI map. And then I can go to option one and we can compare the two. What I can also do is go back to my base lighting design and I could add a light that's at the top. And then when I go into option one, we have the light at the top, but we have these two different variations with these two different lighting designs. I can get rid of this and I could create a flat background on here and I could give it a color and I could say the blend mode for this is color. So I'm almost adding a blue filter to my HDRI map. And then when I go into my two different lighting options, they both have that blue filter and then we can get rid of it. And we could also forget the lights and get a different, we could do an interior and we could use that as the base for the lighting. And then we can look at option one and option two, where we've got the two extra sets of lighting on top of that base HDR. Other things we could do with this is if I create another look. So with this look selected, if I just create create a look, it will add a look. I'll call it option three at the same level. So it's actually adding one down here. And on here, I could do a flat background. I could change the color. And then I could use the blend mode again, color. So it acts a bit like a red filter over the whole lighting design. So not only can I use this to add specific lighting designs. So in this case, uh, we've got this light here. It could actually uh, go to brightness zero and we could use it to block light from that side. And then we could go to option two. Then we could go to option three and we've got the color filter. 
So at the moment we've got um, the base lighting design, we've got these options. We can add another child. So we could add a child on here. We could call it lights. So we've used this as a, a filter and then we can add some more lights on top. So I'll And I could add another child and add another light. And then depending on what look I have selected, that basically goes through the different levels of what is active and being used on the canvas and to light the shot. So you can see here, if I go to the highest level, we've got the lights from New Look, lights, option three, look one, that are all being added together to create the final lighting. Now, if I render this now, all of those lights will be added together to produce the production render of the HDRI map and to create any area lights. With look one selected, if I were to duplicate this, it actually duplicates the entire structure that I have here. So I can then make further adjustments to this, decide to delete some options. But you can duplicate an entire structure. And then if I was, uh, say, in here, and I created a child, and I took that, and I duplicated it, that structure itself would get duplicated. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can use looks to create a lighting design maybe per camera view in your scene and have them all in one project and you could name them by the camera and one you could use the looks to save off different versions of your lighting design as you're working so that you can compare uh, your previous setup and you work on it for a bit is it better what you had before do you like the changes you've made you could go back to where you were half an hour ago when you saved a previous version it's very handy for that and we're really interested in seeing what you guys do with it so that's an overview of the light looks panel how it works um, if i was to save this project and open it back up all of this structure will be in place and when you use hdr light studio with third party uh, app like Blender, if there are any of our connections, all of this structure will be saved in that single embedded HDR Light Studio project in your 3D scene. And then you open up HDR Light Studio and you decide which look is active and then all of the lighting will be added together um, and, and shared with the 3D software. Okay, thank you for watching uh, this overview of Lightlooks. Bye.